Secure your Linux distro in 15 steps. 1. Document Linux host information. Each time you work on a new Linux hardening job, you need to create a new document that has all the checklist items listed in this post, and you need to check off every item you applied on the system. Furthermore, on the top of the document, you need to include the Linux host information. Machine name. IP address. MAC address. Name of the person who is doing the hardening, most likely you. Date. Asset number. If you are working for a company, then you need to include the asset number that your company uses for tagging hosts. 2. BIOS protection. You need to protect the BIOS of the host with a password so the end user won't be able to change and override the security settings in the BIOS. It's important to keep this area protected from any changes. Each computer manufacturer has a different set of keys to enter the BIOS mode, then it's a matter of finding the configuration where you set the administrative password. Next, you need to disable the booting from external media devices, USB slash CD slash DVD. If you omit to change the setting, anyone can use a USB stick that contains a bootable OS and can access your OS data. The latest server's motherboards have an internal web server where you can access them remotely. Make sure to change the default password of the admin page or disable it if it's possible. 3. Hard Disk Encryption, Confidentiality most of the Linux distributions will allow you to encrypt your disks before installation. Disk encryption is important in case of theft because the person who stole your computer won't be able to read your data if they connect the hard disk to their machine. In the image below, choose the third option from the list, Guided Use Entire Disk and Set Up Encrypted LVM, Logical Volume Manager. 4. Disk Partitioning, Availability. Backups have so many advantages in case of a damaged system, bugs in the OS update. For important servers, the backup needs to be transferred off-site in case of a disaster. Backup needs to be managed as well. For example, how long will you keep the old backups? When do you need to backup your system? Every day, every week. Critical systems should be separated into different partitions for slash slash boot slash USR slash home slash TMP slash var Slash opt. Portioning disks gives you the opportunity of performance and security in case of a system error. In the picture below, you can see the option of how to separate partitions in Kali Linux during the installation. 5. Lock the boot directory. The boot directory contains important files related to the Linux kernel, so you need to make sure that this directory is locked down to read only permissions by following the next simple steps. First, open the stab file. Then, add the last line highlighted at the bottom. When you finish editing the file, you need to set the owner by executing the following command. Hashtag chown root root slash etc slash stab. Permissions for secure boot settings. Next, I set few permissions for securing the boot settings. Set the owner and group of slash etc slash grub dot conf to the root user. Hashtag chown root root slash etc slash grub dot conf. Set permission on the slash etc slash grub.conf file to read and write for root only. Hashtag mod rwx slash etc slash grub.conf. Require authentication for single user mode. Hashtag set i slash single slash s slash such l slash sulagen slash slash etc slash sysconfig slash init. Hashtag set i slash prompt slash s slash yes slash no slash slash etc slash sysconfig slash init. 6. Disable USB usage. Depending on how critical your system is, sometimes it's necessary to disable the USB sticks usage on the Linux host. There are multiple ways to deny the usage of USB storage, here's a popular one. Open the blacklist.conf file using your favorite text editor. Hashtag nano slash etc slash modprobe.d slash blacklist.conf When the file opens, then add the following line at the end of the file, save and close. Blacklist USB underscore storage. After this, open the rc.local file. Hashtag nano slash etc slash rc.local. Finally, add the following two lines. Modprobe r USB underscore storage. Exit zero. Seven. Update your Linux system. The first thing to do after the first boot is to update the system. This should be an easy step. Generally, 
you open your terminal window and execute the appropriate commands. In Kali Linux, you achieve this by executing the commands in the pictures below. App get upgrade Y. 8. Check the installed packages. List all packages installed on your Linux OS and remove the unnecessary ones. You need to be very strict if the host you're trying to harden is a server because servers need the least number of applications and services installed on them. Here's an example of how to list the packages installed on Kali Linux. Remember that disabling unnecessary services will reduce the attack surface, so it is important to remove the following legacy services if you found them installed on the Linux server. Telnet server. RSH server. NIS server. TFTP server. Talk server. 9. Check for open ports. Identifying open connections to the Internet is a critical mission. In Kali Linux, I use the following command to spot any hidden open ports. Netstat NP. 10. Secure SSH. SSH is secure, but you should harden this service as well. You can also disable SSH. However, if you want to use it, then you have to change the default configuration of SSH. To do it, browse to slash etc slash SSH and open the SSHD underscore config file using your favorite text editor. Change the default port number 22 to something else eg 99. Make sure that root cannot log in remotely through SSH. Permit root login no. Allow some specific users. Alawusser's username. The list can go on and on, but these should be enough to start with. For example, some companies add banners to deter attackers and discourage them from continuing further. I encourage you to check the manual of the SSH to understand all the configurations in this file. Here are some additional options that you need to make sure exist in the sshd underscore config file. Protocol 2. Ignore ROSTs to yes. Host-based authentication no. Permit empty passwords no. X11 forwarding no. Max auth tries 5. Ciphers AES 128 CTR AES 192 CTR AES 256 CTR. Client alive interval 900. Client alive count max 0. Use PAM yes. Finally, set the permissions on the sshd underscore config file so that only root users can change its contents. Hashtag chown root root slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. Hashtag mod 600 slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. Eleven. Enable SE Linux. Security Enhanced Linux is a kernel security mechanism for supporting access control security policy. The SE Linux has three configuration modes. Disabled, turned off. Permissive, prints warnings. Enforcing, policy is enforced. Using a text editor, open the config file. Hashtag nano slash etc slash selenux slash config. And make sure that the policy is enforced. Selenux equals enforcing. 12. Set network parameters. Securing your Linux host network activities is an essential task. Don't always assume that your firewall will take care of everything. Here are some important features to consider for securing your host network. Disable the IP forwarding by setting the net.ipv4.ip underscore forward parameter to 0 in slash etc slash sysctl.conf. Disable the send packet redirects by setting the net.ipv4.conf all.send underscore redirects and net.ipv4.conf default.send underscore redirects parameters to zero in slash etc slash sysctl.conf. Disable ICMP redirect acceptance by setting the net.ipv4.conf all.accept underscore redirects and net.ipv4.conf default.accept underscore redirects parameters to zero in slash etc slash sysctl.conf enable bad error message protection by setting the net.ipv4.icmp underscore ignore underscore bogus underscore error underscore responses parameter to one in slash etc slash sysctl.conf I strongly recommend using the Linux firewall by applying the iptable rules and filtering all the incoming, outgoing, and forwarded packets Configuring your Iptables rules will take some time, but it's worth the pain. 13. Manage password policies. People often reuse their passwords, which is a bad security practice. 
The old passwords are stored in the file slash etc slash security slash opassud. We are going to use the PAM module to manage the security policies of the Linux host. Under a Debian distro, open the file slash etc slash pam dot d slash common password using a text editor and add the following two lines. Op sufficient pam underscore unix dot so like op naloc. Password sufficient pam underscore unix dot so remember equals four. Will not allow users to reuse the last four passwords. Another password policy that should be forced is strong passwords. The PAM module offers a PAM underscore cracklet that protects your server from dictionary and brute force attacks. To accomplish this task, open the file slash etc slash PAM dot d slash system off using any text editor and add the following line. Slash lib slash security slash dollar isa slash PAM underscore cracklet dot so retry equals three minlin equals eight credit equals dash one ukaridite equals dash two credit equals dash two ukaridite equals dash one. Linux will hash the password to avoid saving it in clear text so, you need to make sure to define a secure password hashing algorithm SHA-512. Another interesting functionality is to lock the account after five failed attempts. To make this happen, you need to open the file slash etc slash pam dot d slash password off and add the following lines. Auth required pam underscore env dot so. Auth required pam underscore fail lock dot so pre auth audit silent deny equals five unlock underscore time equals six zero four eight zero zero. Auth success equals one default equals bad pam underscore unix dot so. Auth default equals die pam underscore fail lock dot so auth fail audit deny equals five unlock underscore time equals six zero four eight zero zero. Auth sufficient pam underscore fail lock dot so auth suck audit deny equals five unlock underscore time equals six zero four eight zero zero. Auth required pam underscore deny dot so. We're not done yet. One additional step is needed. Open the file slash etc slash pam dot d slash system off and make sure you have the following lines added. Auth required pam underscore env dot so. Auth required pam underscore fail lock dot so pre auth audit silent deny equals five unlock underscore time equals six zero four eight zero zero. Auth success equals one default equals bad pam underscore unix dot so. Auth default equals die pam underscore fail lock dot so auth fail audit deny equals five unlock underscore time equals six zero four eight zero zero. Auth sufficient pam underscore fail lock dot so auth suck audit deny equals five unlock underscore time equals six zero four eight zero zero. Auth required pam underscore deny dot so. After five failed attempts, only an administrator can unlock the account by using the following command. Hashtag slash usr slash spin slash fail lock user user lock reset. Also, another good practice is to set the password to expire after 90 days. To accomplish this task you need to set the pass underscore max underscore days parameter to 90 in slash etc slash login dot defs. Change the active user by executing the following command. Hashtag change max days 90 user. The next tip for enhancing the passwords policies is to restrict access to the su command by setting the pam underscore will dot so parameters in slash etc slash pam dot d slash su auth required pam underscore will dot so use underscore uid the final tip for passwords policy is to disable the system accounts for non-root users by using the following bash script hashtag slash bin slash bash for user in awk f three dollars five hundred print one dollar slash etc slash password do if dollar user equals root then Slash usr slash spin slash user mod l dollar user. If dollar user equals sync and end dollar user equals shutdown and end dollar user equals halt. Then slash usr slash spin slash user mod s slash spin slash knowledge in dollar user. Fuck. Fuck. Done. Fourteen. Permissions and verification. Prepare yourself mentally because this is going to be a long list. But, permissions is one of the most important and critical tasks to achieve the security goal on a Linux host. Set user slash group owner and permission on slash etc slash anacron tab, slash etc slash cron tab and slash etc slash cron asterisk by executing the following commands. Hashtag chown root root slash etc slash anacron tab. Hashtag mod rwx slash etc slash anacron tab. Hashtag chown root root slash etc slash cron tab. 
Hashtag blog rwx slash etc slash cron tab. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash cron dot hourly. Hashtag mod rwx slash etc slash cron dot hourly. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash cron dot daily. Hashtag mod rwx slash etc slash cron dot daily. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash cron dot weekly. Hashtag mod rwx slash etc slash cron dot weekly. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash cron dot monthly. Hashtag mod rwx slash etc slash cron dot monthly. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash cron dot d. Hashtag mod rwx slash etc slash cron dot d. Set the right and permissions on slash bar slash spool slash cron for root cron tab. Hashtag chal root root cron tab file. Hashtag mod rwx cron tab file. Set user slash group owner and permission on password file. Hashtag mod 644 slash etc slash password. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash password. Set user slash group owner and permission on the group file. Hashtag mod 644 slash etc slash group. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash group. Set user slash group owner and permission on the shadow file. Hashtag mod 600 slash etc slash shadow. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash shadow. Set user slash group owner and permission on the shadow file. Hashtag mod 600 slash etc slash shadow. Hashtag chal root root slash etc slash shadow. Fifteen. Additional distro process hardening. For this last item in the list, I'm including some additional tips that should be considered when hardening a Linux host. First, restrict core dump spot. Adding hardcore zero to the slash etc slash security slash limits dot conf file. Adding fs dot suit underscore dumpable equals zero to the slash etc slash syctl dot conf file. Second, configure exec shield bot. Adding kernel dot exec shield equals one to the slash etc slash syctl dot conf file. Third, enable randomized virtual memory region placement bot. Adding kernel dot randomize underscore va underscore space equals two to the slash etc slash syctl dot conf file. This article was originally published on Network World and was updated here on November 21st, 2022.